Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 982 and today we're back with another brand new video. Today's uh, video was actually inspired by the gaffer, if you think about it, about 10 days ago or something like that, during a press conference he confirmed that there was going to be players leaving in January, so that brings us to today's video because us as a nation, as a community, are here to talk about what Rangers players' his time is over. Am I allowed to do that? But you know what, before we go any further on with today's video, as always, a shout out to the channel sponsors One Football. their link will be down there in the description below if you want a free football and app. But we do have a cheeky little list of Rangers players I think will be leaving the football club this month, so let's just get right into it. And I would like to just point out, this is in no particular order either, it's just the way it came into the old noggin. Starting off with the first one, in fact, it's probably the easiest, most obvious one. I think this is going to be an Oliver list if you're getting involved down in the comments because Steven Gerrard literally named the guy. It's none other than Greg Dockery. And what's absolutely mental is if you'd have told me before a ball was kicked this season, I'd be sitting here in January saying Greg Dockery is one of the first out the door, I honestly would never ever have believed you. This is a guy who used the loan system correctly. He went down with the right attitude, the right mentality, played absolutely balls out, got not only rave reviews from every single pundit that watched him play, but one player of the year came back with a full steaming momentum, but it's just unfortunately no happened or translated over to Rangers. Now if you caught my video when Gerard sort of named Greg Dockery, one of these players that needs to go and play some football, we kind of discussed that a little bit there, but just in case you missed that video, Gerard mentioned Greg Dockery as being a shining example of someone who comes in, works hard, hasn't put a foot wrong, but they just kind of get near the team, so they need to go and get first team football. It's not because he's no good enough, or he's through a strop, or he's moping about the place, he's doing everything right, but the boys that's ahead of him are just doing it at such a high level. He kind of get near the 18, never mind the 11. Now regarding Greg Dockery himself and what he's done this season, he's played five games in total for Rangers and he has three assists to his name. That's not too shabby Alonso, ladies and gentlemen, for the old stats. That's probably why even today there's apparently three or four championship clubs interested in bringing the dock back down south. Now whether or not those three championship clubs that's been listed over the last 24 to 48 hours are legit or just BS rumours still remains to be seen, but I'm pretty damn sure you will see Greg Dockery leave at some point in January. However, I think he will be leaving out on loan. Moving over to the second player I think will be leaving in January, it is none other than Herrera. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Herrera's Mexican loan is officially over, and he's a Rangers player again. Yay! Said no one ever. Let's not waste any more time on this one. We've reached the end of a very, very expensive road with Herrera, and he'll be gone at some point this month. And moving over to the third player on the list, we have none other than Jamie Murphy, and I know, I know you guys didn't want to hear that, and I didn't want to be saying that. I want nothing more than this man to be successful at the club he loves most, but when when you just look at the evidence, he's only played twice, despite being fit for months on end. When you look at that, I think it tells you everything you need to know. And with Kent, Jones, Aribo, Barker, Ojo and Scotty Arfield all being preferred to Jamie Murphy, I think that right there is the final nail in the Rangers career coffin for Jamie, Jamie Murphy and I see him leaving on a permanent this month. Number four on the list, we're going to stick with the winger position for a very brief moment and this one, just like number two, won't take much of our time at all. It is none other than Gresda. Remember him? Is he talented? Absolutely. But is he constantly blighted by just stupid incidents off the park, including apparently spitting on a youth player during a youth game? Yes, and that is why I think you've not seen him in a very long time. And I'm sure a lot of you would have forgotten about him. He's nowhere to be seen regarding the first team. Now, I think it's pretty damn obvious that Rangers are actively trying to get Gresda off the books. They're trying to get teams interested in paying what we agreed to pay him and that's where it's going to go. It's going to be once again down to the line to see if anyone is willing to take a punt on the talent and deal with the baggage that just seems to follow this lad. I'm going to be optimistic and I'm going to say that yes, a team will take a punt and we'll get rid of Gresda this January. And moving on to number five on the old list, we have none other than Andy King. Now, when I'm recording today's video, it's pretty much expected that he's already returned to Leicester, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's not officially confirmed just yet, but it's expected that his season-long loan from Leicester is done 
it's over. And what's very interesting is the fact that when we signed Andy King, if you go back and you look at the comments that we shared with each other, we were discussing it down in the comment section below, we were all miffed and we questioned why we were bringing Andy King in. Yes, he's got terrific pedigree. Yes, he's a very good player, but where was he going to play and who was he going to replace in the starting 11? Well, that question right there, that very last one I just mentioned, was no one because we only saw him five times for under 17 minutes all season. And now we've reached the last player on my list and at number six we have Glenn Middleton. Now Glenn Middleton burst onto the scene last year and he looked absolutely amazing scoring very important goals in European football. Then again as Gerard always says young players have that peak in the old valley they go up and down until they find their consistency as they get a bit more experience and this was supposed to be his experience that loan to Hibs was supposed to be his consistency finding minutes and that was supposed to take him to the next level but it did not happen at all in fact you have to just look at it and just call it what it was that Hibs loan was a disaster playing only eight times for a terrible terrible Hibs team resulting in two assists it's heavily expected that Glenn Middleton will be leaving again in January and this time he'll be returning to Holland like what Gerard originally wanted before Middleton's on a U-turn and chose to go to Hibs. So again, it's expected that Glenn Middleton will be leaving right away and going back out on loan. And that right there is my list on the players I think will be leaving the club in January. If you're still watching to this point, thank you so much by the way, but also share your opinion. Who do you think will be leaving the football club and why? And you may or may not notice there was no Tavernier, there was no Morelos, there was Nabde like that on my list. And I just want to be very brief for this one because I know there's stories being run by this media outlet about Tavernier with Newcastle, Aston Villa for Morelos. It's all utter trash and garbage. There's not one link of any solid evidence. It's just, right, we'll do that, we'll do that. Let's just throw that together and get some clicks. Honestly, that's why I never even made a video on the Newcastle to Tavernier link because there's none. It's pure and utter fantasy. Gerard has continually said on record that he's not wanted any of his starters to leave, especially in January. They're building something special here and there's no way in hell after what we just did at Parkhead, we are going to weaken our starting 11 going into the second part of the season. So yeah, that's why no Morelos and no Tavernier. I know there's going to be some people questioning the likes of Matt Polster, Andy Halliday and Ojo, especially given the fact he was nowhere to be seen for the last three, I think it's the last three to four match day squads, he didn't even make the bench, but Polster I think will be kept around a little bit longer than he possibly might move in the summer. Andy Halliday's contract is up at the end of the season and he won't be getting another one, that's at least what the word is, so they may just keep him in there and allow him to walk at the end of the season. And Ojo... I'm going to get a wee bit flat for this, I can feel it, but I just look at him and he's got everything it, it takes to be a fantastic football player. It's just no clicked up here for him yet and I think it's still worth, given the fact that Liverpool are playing, paying his entire wages, keeping him around the squad just in case it does click because if it clicks and we can have him on one side and Kenny on the other, that could honestly be vicious. But with that being said, I'm officially done and dusted for today's video. It's time to hand the reins over to you guys. And while you guys are sharing your opinions down there in the comment section below, I will jump over to Twitter and hear from the people. So over to Twitter then, and the first one comes in from Andrew Wilson, and he writes in, King and Ojo sent back to their parent clubs. He's expecting Gresda, Middleton, Matty P and Greg Zockery to all leave on loan, and he's expecting Big Herrera, Big Sexy himself to be sold. That would be beautiful if that could happen. I'm expecting it to be a hefty, hefty payoff. Adam Skate Gaming writes in Gresda Herrera, Docker and Murphy, Flanagan, because Flanagan is so sloppy, example against Aberdeen. The only thing I would say about his game versus Aberdeen is he had to play for like three months or two months at that point and he was flung in to a game versus Petodre and I mean the whole team was bad that day so I wouldn't really hold that performance against him. Again, if you go back to the start of the season, Flanagan was one of the, the better players. Given the fact that his contract ends at the end of the season, that's the only reason I don't think he will be leaving in January. Danny Taylor writes in Dockery will be leaving on loan. King, Herrera, Murphy and Gresda to leave on transfers. Middleton, Hasty to also leave out on loan and Jamie Murphy to unfortunately leave on a permanent. Peter Ramsey writes in Dockery, King, Herrera, Murphy, Poster, Ojo, Barker, Flanagan, Gresda, Halliday. Oh my god! 
the big man's cleaning house. Ryan writes in Dockery, King, Polster, Murphy, Herrera, Gresda and Middleton out on loan. Hopefully not though, as he's a very good backup. Snake Harper writes in King, he will return to Leicester. Dockery will be a transfer. Polster, transfer. Murphy, Herrera to be loans. Gresda, loan or transfer. I'll take either. And Middleton writes out loan. Again, Alfred Cole, Morelos writes in Dockery, King, Herrera, Murphy and Polster. Very, very similar amount of names coming in here. Good to see us all in sync. And the last one we're going to read out is go right to the very bottom to get the very latest that's just been sent in. And it comes from Nicky Katic and he writes in maybe Murphy and Gresda, hopefully no one else. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You've heard from the people, you've heard from myself. If you haven't done so already, you know what to do. Bye now, and as always, I've been Cedron Over92. Thank you so much for watching, and bye.